Welcome to Recycled Idaho, where two recycling industry veterans, Brett Eckhart and Nick Snyder, explore Idaho businesses and organizations that are putting in the work to keep Idaho environmentally and economically viable at the same time. Take a listen to how these entrepreneurs, business owners, and operators are making things happen in the great state of Idaho. The YouTube version of this podcast is awesome, as our real boots on the ground man, Nick Snyder, tours a large hospital demo site with David Aberatio, the owner of Ideal Demolition. Go check it out on YouTube or continue listening right here. Hi there, this is Nick from Recycled Idaho, here with David, the owner of Ideal Demolition. I was chatting earlier, but tell us where we are, David. So we are actually at the uh, Mercy Hospital in Napa, Idaho. It's a 12-acre site that we have to take out the entire site out. With, I mean by that, just all the structures need to go away, including the five-tower uh, building, the structure. Gotcha. So that's going down. You've obviously seen some of the, the demo work. And we talked about all this earlier, but you did the first right, like, few weeks in the environmental. Yeah, we actually, uh, the environmental has to be removed first, which is all the, uh, the asbestos, the lead, the mercury lights, mercury switches, and any other environmental issues you find in the hospital. Uh, you realistically, you have a survey before you actually start work. The survey is, is done by a third party from the hospital. They will come in and they will analyze the actual structures and they will tell you where all this hazardous waste is. Um, we've been here since November, right after Thanksgiving, and we're moving all those materials. And we actually just finished this week that we're moving all the materials. Gotcha. Uh, we started demolition on the north side. We could start walking if you want. Yeah. On the north side, uh, December 18th. And you have three machines here. Did you say you had seven guys on this job, including your drivers? That's correct, yeah. We have three excavators. Preparing the material, concrete goes to a recycle company, steel goes to another recycle, uh, all the demolition debris goes to Canyon County, and uh, that's that's what we do. We separate all the material, you know, goes to different sites. That's so, all. Yes, we have uh, three excavators, skid steers, total of seven guys in here right now. I got you. Uh, the more I get into it, I'll probably have up to ten guys. I think a lot of people don't realize how much goes into the market. You know, it's like any industry, like our industry, and recycling in. But there's just so much more to it. Yes. Right. Well, it's, it's, very, very, it's very simple. If people say that you got the easy work, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's hard work. Get it to work. Uh, uh, you can't just, you, you got to put in the time. You got to know how to The time is sun up, sun down. Yeah. Okay? It's not a, you don't get a clock out at 5 o'clock in that way. Exactly. You got to take those phone calls. You know, and not about broken equipment. Exactly. Or sick calls or this yes. and that or... I mean, like us, like going into your priority, you got to keep your guys safe, too. Yeah. You know, and that, in your industry, you got to be a whole lot harder than ours. Yes, it is. So, let's take a walk inside so you guys can see the building that we're actually using skid steers to remove all the trash. What I mean by trash is all the cabinets, all the drywall, all the metal studs. And it makes it a lot easier when you uh, bring down the structure. Because what's left is what uh, the steel and the concrete it's what's left okay so if we walk in here you can see you got piles of uh, trash which is the demolition debris yeah a little copper you got concrete concrete will separate the rebar as much as we can yeah You can see the uh, skid steer goes in and they actually remove, once again, all the material out. So you have steel and concrete and yeah. steel again left. Gotcha. Once this area is all cleaned out, which will be by tomorrow, then we start bringing this structure down. Okay. Okay. 
Gotcha. So it makes it a lot safer when things are clean and we could actually use the excavators and separate material as we go. I got gotcha. you. Once we're done with this section, this uh, concrete pad was hay, and we go into this section, we do the same thing. We stick in bobcats and we take all the trash out. Mm -hmm. Once again, you got concrete, steel, it makes it a lot easier. There's benefits to you if it's in a timely fashion where you can pull out the rebar, right. you can make some money on the right. scrap. Exactly. Um, like we talked about earlier, you pull the, you yank the copper out right. first so we can not yeah. let it get kinked into your conduit uh -huh. and all that. And I, I think uh, your company, we took out how many tons of uh, copper so far? Oh, I'd say about... Um, Six, about, six, yeah, no, closer to 15. So you know? 15 times? Yeah, closer to that. That's a lot. And that's, I mean, and you're just, just getting started on some yeah, of it. Yeah, we're just know? getting started. Yeah, yeah. so, yeah, and, uh, yeah, we appreciate the loads. They look yeah, clean. Copper and MCM. They're well sorted. Of tons of MCM. Have you had anyone steal your copper? Yes, we have. <laughs> on this job? <laughs> yes, we have. You know, with your 2,000 pound lid you put on it? Uh, we have the dumpsters over on that side. But actually, people walked in here and they removed, you know, they could jump over the fence and they tried to go in the buildings and we find, uh, you know, we find the copper stripped and and the MCM cut. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to keep guys out of job sites, that's even though you have hard. security. You know, that's unfortunate, yeah. you know, but you yeah. just try to do your best and keep right. out of your Right, right. So, you walk in here? Yeah, uh-huh. Oh yeah, this uh, this section will be ready by Friday, so we can take it down. And you could see a hallway here, and it goes out back. Be careful, you know, walking here. And this hospital goes, keeps going. Oh, it's huge. Oh, it's huge, yes. We were able to walk through. Uh huh. So, yeah. So once this once this area goes away, then we start doing the same thing here. Gotcha. Yeah, gutting it out, gutting gutting it out, and clearing the. A area. lot of work. Well, thank you for your time, David. And we'll do a more formal yes. completion of this interview at your office in Edmonton.